with, let's see, I've got a crazy headset on. I'm with Richard Tapping from Vispero, and I'm wearing a VR headset that has a magnifier device hooked to the front of it. How are you doing today? Very well. Excited to be here. All right. Have I got the mic in the right place? It's about really? there. I think so. I might have to take you this off because it's a little bit crazy, but I'm wearing a VR headset that's allowing me to magnify my vision, right? Yeah. So you're essentially actually using, you're wearing two parts there. You're wearing one uh, VR headset that holds or cradles a vid handheld video magnifier in the VR headset. So it converts it from a handheld video magnifier, which you would typically use as one of your tools in an everyday environment if you're visually impaired, and then it doubles up as a VR headset. Ah, I see. So, um, and I literally do see. <laughs> I'm going to actually take this off because I'm, okay. I'm spinning around a lot and it's... Uh it's uh, a little challenging to wear, but uh, th that isn't actually nearly as heavy and uncomfortable as I thought it was. It's a little bit challenging, but it's pretty cool. It takes some getting used to, and the and the uh, the adjustments can 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 you know the straps can be adjusted to make it more comfortable for sure. Right, right. So, uh, well, who's the target market for a device like this? It can be anywhere from from children in a classroom. So typically, you can imagine a child in a classroom that's using a tablet-based type of device. They want a video magnifier for their notes or documents, but they also need to look up at the at the teacher or the or the blackboard, and they can wear that device in a stable or uh, uh, stationary setting to use it to get access to the notes and and the board. So it's a hands-free device. But likewise, you know, we see a lot of seniors, 85, 90 years old, with macular degeneration. They're needing a video magnifier for their everyday tools. It's very useful for them to, to marry that up with a device like this and give them more hands-free uh, control. So to make sure I'm understanding it correctly, it's a video magnifier you can set on the desk. You can uh, have it uh, read things out to you. You can look at it, uh, magnify what's on a, a newspaper or something right, exactly like that. Right. But then that's sitting in a VR headset that allows me to use it as a video magnifier for the world. Right. It's essentially turn, it converts a handheld video magnifier into a wearable video magnifier. Now, normally these things are incredibly expensive. What's the price point for something? So they can range typically from $2,500, $3,000. Uh, the video magnifier on its own is about $900, and the headset is a $200 accessory. For, for $1,100, we basically cut the price in half. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yep. All right, what else are we looking at here today? I think you've got a new dis uh, Braille display idea. We do have a new Let Braille me... display. So oh, this is our Focus 40. Uh, for those that are not familiar with a refreshable Braille display, this device will replace essentially paper Braille and uh, electron uh, creates a refreshable bar of electronic braille. And this is 40 cells across, so 40, 40 characters. 40 characters across, exactly right. And these buttons up here are your input keys, so these allow a person that is familiar with braille to input in braille. They can read it here, and then this device will connect to, for example, a Windows computer using JAWS perhaps. It can also be used with, uh, with other uh, platforms, Mac, iOS, uh, Bluetooth, USB, um, and it's extremely robust. So now, these things are not cheap. So the robustness is key. <laughs> we yeah, want to. So we want. Explaining. People throw these in their backpacks or whatever. You can. Can I throw this on the ground? You, you probably don't want me to. Yeah, I don't want you to, but you can. <laughs> you could, right? <laughs> yeah. So he was banging designed. it on the table. It's right. designed to be robust. It's pretty heavy. It's, it's mil -spec. a nice device. Yeah. Oh, mil spec. There yeah. you go. Yeah. All right, and then he was talking about there's a wraparound PC that can connect to this? So one of the developments that we're going to come out with uh, later this year, actually in about a month or two, is what we call the L Braille. And an L Braille is an attachment that basically this docks into and converts this Braille display into a full Windows 10 computer for the blind. So it's more of a note taker type of device, but it's running Windows 10. And that's important because that gets them immersed in the operating system they'll probably be using in the working environment. Exactly right. So kids coming through uh, education, ultimately employment, we want to make sure they're using an environment that's consistent with higher ed and ultimately, in, uh, 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 you know, employment. Right. And so this is this is the concept behind the the Windows 10. Very cool. If people want to learn more about these products, where would they go? Vispero.com has all of our brands on all the links. Uh, Freedomscientific.com, Optelec.com, and EnhancedVision.com. We have quite a selection. Okay, so if those are all on your business card, we'll get some of them in. They but are. Vispero.com, V-I-S-P-E-R-O.com. If you go there, all the others you'll find. Thank you very much, Richard. You're very welcome.